Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be looking at the regular expression module and looking at the find all method. So I've done a couple other videos about regular expressions, and they can be very overwhelming. So I'm going to specifically start going through um, the methods and best practices and how in the world we can do it because it can be extremely overwhelming so today we are just going to be looking at find all but <clears throat> here's the big catch we're going to be working with a file that we've already downloaded so uh, i'm going to start having the cards pop up so there are three prerequisites the first one is um uh, url lib open to um, go to a file then uh, the second one is going to be um, how to write a file that's shown up and then uh, I'll do the third one in a minute so those aren't piled up so all right let's just look at what find all does all right let's move this over and if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe and notification bell because we got videos coming out all the time and we build upon them just like you're gonna see here so all right return a list of non overlapping and that's fine because these are words and sentences so it's not that big of a deal so this this is good this is a poem we're going to be using the poem uh, Raven from uh, Edgar Allan Poe so all right let's just get started now here's the other one the with the context manager so that's showing up now all right but I remember when I was uh, going through and trying to figure out regular expressions and it's just it can be convoluted and they build upon each other but find all is a very nice segue because we're going to do a couple of things with find all. All right. So text equals file dot read. You are just going to read the whole thing in. So all right. Let's run this. And now let's look at print text. So here it is. Nice and pretty. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a list of the. So all right. Find all. And it takes the pattern first. Let's come up here. Pattern, then the string. So what are you looking for? And where are you going to look for it? Well, we're going to look for it in the text. So what are you looking for? Where are you going to look for it? All right. And just like that. So now let's do print the or the or however so all right here we go here are all the these that are in the Raven but just to give you a heads up this isn't all the these okay so there are times when words start with um, start a sentence and things are different so next time we're going to look at how to solve that it's a real simple but this is what I want we're gonna do this one video at a time we're not gonna do two topics like we sometimes do but ev but everything that is here has had videos before but as always thanks for watching don't forget to click that subscribe and notification bell and if this is the type of video you like go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me and uh, please leave any comments questions or my absolute all-time favorite any video requests below and I'll get right to them you guys have been asking some really awesome questions and some really good video requests and I can't say thank you enough but uh, thanks for watching stay tuned and we'll see you next time bye guys